Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to the 12 days of film. We are reaching, let me tell you. And today I want to talk about No Hard Feelings, a comedy film, which I just have to put some respect on that. A comedy film in 2023, they are fewer and farther between nowadays, at least the ones that get theatrical runs. That being said, it did feel like I was back in 2008 watching this film because this film feels like a lot of different genre comedies like kind of splashed together. It feels like an awkward comedy. It has slapstick humor, a gag comedy, awkward comedy, a little bit of everything in here. But the premise for this film is you have Jennifer Lawrence who is losing her house and she's kind of like a trashy slutty character uh she's very similar to her character in silver linings playbook or you know very abrasive very loud but you know has her tender moments or whatever very vulnerable at points but she finds an ad on craigslist i think where she has to date this rich couple's son they are literally trying to hook up their son because he's such a loser <laughs> he, he he's a very nerdy shy kid and he amps that up to 11. He is the most shy, nerdy dude I've ever seen in any film. They go on a date. I don't know why this joke sticked with me. They go on a date, and he's like, I'll have a Pepsi. And they're like, we only have Coke products. And he's like, do you want to go? <laughs> There's actually a really fun, interesting chemistry from Jennifer Lawrence, who's significantly older than this kid. And him being like a Gen Z kid who has no understanding of social cues. And they really hit on some Gen Z jokes in here. Like she goes to a party at one point and you know, the typical high school party where everyone's getting drunk, doing drugs, uh, <laughs> having sex in the back rooms. And she goes to this party and there's kids playing like the VR set and they're not doing anything. And the nerdy dude, I like hate to admit it, like I related to him in some aspect because he's like the exact age I was when I lived in a beach town. I, my parents weren't rich or anything, but I was in the exact same situation where I'm... And you can watch my videos from back then. I am socially inept AF and you can see that in those videos and from that time period... I remember trying to hook up with people that were older than me at the time, and I'm a super awkward kid like this one, and yeah, I can relate. And this movie has what I like to call in a lot of comedies that, like, soft spot. If the comedies can have that soft spot where you actually care about the characters, like, you laugh, but, like, when they break up or they have a fight and you actually care about that, when you actually feel, like, a emotional attachment to the characters, like, when you put on your favorite sitcoms or whatever and those characters are some of your favorite characters because even though they're just there to make you laugh when things actually go down you feel those heartstrings and i felt that in this movie and i'm not saying this is like a stellar movie it's not like laugh out loud the entire time type of funny there's like maybe a couple jokes that actually really landed but i want more movies like this i want more movies i can laugh at i miss being in a theater Full of people who are laughing even though I watched this on Netflix but that's besides the point the, the point being I miss films that put a smile on my face with the purpose of putting a smile on my face and I miss fun stupid goofy comedy that doesn't take itself too seriously and that that's pretty much what this film is it doesn't take itself that seriously and I might be a little generous this film because I want films like this to succeed and like I said I might be generous because it's in a weird relatable bubble that not a lot of films are ever going to hit for me, so. But it's been like a month from this film, and I still remember a lot of the jokes pretty clearly. I remember him riding on top of the car. I remember Jennifer Lawrence getting into a fight on the beach. I remember the jokes they had at the doggy kennel. So yeah, I have a little soft spot for this movie. I'm going to give No Hard Feelings a 8 out of 10. It's not in my top 10. It's actually a little bit under that, but... That shows you how much I enjoyed this film. But that's about all I got for this one. We are coming up to the end of the 12 days of film. So if you are still watching, if you're watching these daily, then I super appreciate you. Or maybe you're watching this in the big bulky video on the main channel. Regardless, I appreciate your viewership. And until next time with that, I leave you.